Kyle and I just got to uh, our hostel in Cebu. We got on a flight out of Kalibo, which is uh, just pretty close to Burakai. And then we, from there, we landed in Cebu, got a taxi, and then got on a bus, got a three and a half hour bus ride um, from Cebu City to. Okay, hold on, I'm not gonna fudge this. It is. Bolo, no. Follow on. Follow on. Follow on. That's where we are. Follow on. Which is pretty close to Oslob, which is where the whale sharks are. But anyway, we got to our hostel, um, got some food, and then I decided to take a swim. Kyle decided to take a nap. We are here in Oslob, Cebu. About to go swimming with. with. First full day in Cebu. We just did the whale sharks. Um, for moral reasons, Kyle did not do it. Um, we spoke to some marine biologists though who were studying there and they don't know for sure if it messes up the whale sharks because they are feeding them there. Um, so I, I feel a little guilty, but it was a cool experience. We are now on a trek down to Tumalog Falls. Tumalog Falls. We can just about hear them from where we are. We're on this little, we, we took a, a motorbike. Ryan and I were behind each other on a motorbike. Came up a pretty big hill. It's way too far to walk. And now we're like walking on this little trail, but there's still a bunch of these motorbikes that are flying past us. And yeah, I don't know why the guy didn't bring us all the way here. It's fine going downhill, but it's gonna be a bitch to walk back up. Okay, see? Cool waterfall. <laughs> Tumalog Falls. Yeah, just took the ferry from Liloan port to Sibulan, which is near, we're gonna take a tricycle now to Dumaguete where we're spending the night and then we're gonna, early in the morning, we're gonna go to Sikior Island. just paid 300 pesos each to rent scooters for the day. These are the scooters. That's my little GoPro rig up. Yeah, pretty badass rides. Um, so anyway, 300 pesos is like, what, six, six dollars, six dollars US each uh, to rent them for the day, so that's pretty good. Anyway, we just stopped for a little water break along the way. It's 
probably about a two hours to lap the island. We'll find out though. We're gonna stop uh, in as many places as we can along the way, just exploring, no agenda whatsoever. Welcome to Sikio Island. How was it? Shorter than I expected. <laughs> That's what she said. Canyoneering, and uh, it's we just thing. we just started, and this is how you have to get in. for the night. Kyle, what are you doing in my hammock? <laughs> 